Okay, so this did come from a background of meaning Pit and Dark Pit back in Smash 4, actually. And he is from the local area of my own, the 818, the Valley, and of course, Ike Tyson. Yep, and here it comes, and once again, we're seeing the Nair versus Nair machines <laughs> going at each other. Nair the characters versus yeah. Nair the character. Yeah, Ike Tyson. Nair with the sword and Nair with the staff. We'll see uh, which one takes it over here, but immediately K-Swiss starts off really strong against Ike Tyson. Untouched! But as I say that here, Ike Tyson making sure that this match is not going to go out without a fight. I actually like Ike Tyson's name. Just kind of yeah. realized that. But right now, Ike Tyson, he's on Ike, which is already a pretty big character, and you're really vulnerable to these aerial strings that actually end up getting you killed. Yeah. His weight is kind of that perfect weight for Palatina to continuously combo you. Nice, grabs the ledge. I like the, I like these empty hops from Mike Tyson. That's one thing that Ike is able to do. Mix up between Nair, empty hop, and, and tomahawk grab. Those are the one things that I love to see the uh, players demonstrate. Unfortunately, he did not space his Nair enough so he could be safe. Didn't do it correctly, so he's going to eat a bit of a punish in that case. Dash tag, oh, he jabbed the wrong way. He was expecting a roll, but... I'm able to find anything against nice. that one. Using explosive flames to kind of cause Ike Tyson to get away from it and then fall into the arms of basically a goddess. Mm -hmm. Gets to confirm off that when he goes for the up air itself. A great fastball from K-Swiss. K-Swiss, thank you so much. But unable to find anything after that one. It goes for the F-Till, but unable to find oh. anything. No confirm off that one, unfortunately. So K-Swiss getting away with the skin of his teeth. Mike Tyson just needs to finish this stock. He's oh. so close. Nice. Could use some auto reticle. Forward tilt. I like the way that I Tyson kind of understood that he was spaced. And look at the damage on case of the shield. He can't really be holding that for too long. And I Tyson takes a stock in retaliation. Down yeah. throw. This could be an opportunity oh, to great read. Bait. That was that was good because at this point, I Tyson's conditioned for our bear, which usually tends to be the options from Palatina mains. So he wants to directional air dodge and get away from it. But that caused Case Wiz to understand this is the mix up here and this is my response. Needs to be super careful with that, and then great conversions coming from Case was able to get so much damage. Good whip off. punish. Yeah, he's able to grab him out of that one and clean the dash act to extend the combo further, and the directional air dodge keeps him safe, though. Nice. Using auto radical, and this is going to cause I Tyson to go for an aerial, and then Case is going to counter it with his own. Another one, and that'll cause the neutral get up and the follow up into the up air. Can Case get another one? But the air dodge barely gets him out of the situation. But remember, Ike Tyson's on his last stock. And it seems that he's got the read on it. Up smash, catches it out. Yep, K-Swiss with a solid, solid game one. Great great demonstration of the only, the fact that he knows how to use Palatina in the way of like, you know, the mix up with Rar Bear, the immediately being able to call out Ike with his own neutral air, and not only that, understanding Ike's proper spacing and misspacing against his neutral air. Oh, for Sheik? We'll see how I do it, man. Sometimes well, desperate calls calls for a desperate measure, and maybe Ike Tyson feels a little bit more confident with Sheik in this matchup rather than Ike, because like you said it yourself earlier, right? Ike is that weight that's perfect for Palatina to combo. And also, do you remember, this is to survive, to yeah. move on to tomorrow. So yeah. he's got to go. He's I, well, there's still this. one more match here, yeah, but for but K-Swiss, right, already sending Yoshi freaking to losers, this might be his opportunity to just get into top 48. We'll see, though. Ike Tyson still has some fight into him, and that's what I want to see. He already sets up with some solid percent against K-Swiss. Ike Tyson's Looks like he's got something to say right now. Yeah. He's stuck in this corner, but he's not afraid to be. And I like that. Some players, they like to panic and immediately roll out of that corner. But Ike Tyson comfortably just sitting there for a little bit until he can finally find a way to get out of it. Oh. He's swooping a little bit. I like that. <laughs> yeah. The, she did receive a couple patches. Um buff from, from a patch. The one thing that she's still lacking enough to be considered a great character, but she's definitely something that people might argue between a great high tier and maybe the, one of the best mid tiers. We'll see oh, how this goes. Oh, he caught it out? Was that a two frame? Yep. Oh That's the one God. thing about Palutena, though. She has startup on her teleport, but also and like on it, enough for her to still snap the ledge. And it's good for Ike Tyson to understand oh that. Oh, my God. But once again, case was with those options. That's one, something that Ike Tyson has to be careful with. Once again, caught out by the up smash. Saw that the last game, the stock was ended by an up smash. And this time, the first stock is ended once again by it. And here come the Nair trans, but is able to actually get out of it. But they both grab tech each other at the same time. Dash tech, I like that. And immediately, Case was looking to follow up for another aerial, but Kai Tyson making sure he's gotten some aerials of his own. Down throw, Case was with a, fall, a falling up air. 
Failed to get so After much. down throw, that's one thing I'm liking about Casemus. He kind of mixes up his options there. He's not always going to go for the obvious ones. He's going to kind of change things around. That's causing Ice Tyson to not be a little bit prepared for it. Nice nair and great spot dash because he did not connect the great nair. That means Casemus could have followed up immediately afterwards. And here it comes, what's the follow up? He rolls in this time for a little bit of mix up situation. But Case Place is controlling this match so well. Explosive Flame sent out once more, and he's actually gonna roll into there. But he needs to be careful this time, Case was delays his recovery, so he won't get too mm -hmm. framed. He's gotta be careful coming back on the stage. Sheik still has some great edge guarding tools. And and remember, he's got to keep an eye out for that bouncing fish as well. Mm -hmm. There is a needles confirmed into the bouncing fish. It's one of the, it's one of the few confirms that Sheik has. But needs to be careful, 94%. A well-placed smash attack, even from Sheik, will kill uh -huh. Altana. Last set of Nair, able to bring out Sheik from the stage. Down throw, we'll see what the mix-up here is. Instead, Case is going to opt for the classic Rar Bear. Oh, it feels pretty much like a classic. And this time, he was able to just move her ways away around the up smash, and the, the, the spot dodge gets beaten out. And the dash attack, the last part about it, Mike Tyson's still alive, and he's still breathing. And this I'll time, he's got a little bit of stage control. I like how Casus is not opting to go for an aerial to come back center stage. He's moving in slowly with shield because he knows what that means against Sheik. Good understanding of that options. Of how, what Sheik's options are to count you in the air. Right, this time he goes, he tries to read the roll. And there, used once more, but back air finds its mark. Casus with the command lead. Nair, this is going to be a quick and easy 35% coming up from Casus. Nice, tries to land with Nair, and enough to be able to get away from oh. Ike. Follow up, but he misses the grab. Ike with a full jab. Yeah, and right now Ike Tyson in the middle of a trouble situation, 53%. And also, Sheik's roll is very awkward. It's mm -hmm. like a mix of Samus's. Yeah, it's a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. and Back throw, I like that explosive flame. Uh, Tyson barely escaping that with just a small Ooh. clip on his head. 69%. I like that Ike, he's still finding here. One stock to one stock. Percent's not equal here, but if Tyson is managed to getting a few combos and some stage control here, we might see things turn around for him. If he's able to get a string off, he's possibly still got a chance, but doing such a good job, and the jab catches off a little more damage, but the Nair wants more Ike Tyson in a lot of trouble. He's gonna land the jabs now. It actually crossed up shield. Mm -hmm. I like that case just gets away because he knows shield's moving small. I'm getting hit by four until time Ooh. to move on. That did so much damage. I even reacted violent because it just hit me in the chest, but needs to be careful. Great tomahawk grab into the confirm. He didn't tech it, but Ike Tyson's still alive. Just barely, though. Needs Down to be tilt. careful. That tilt. An up smash has his name on it, I bet you. I, I'm glad I didn't bet anything. I'm glad I didn't bet anything. <laughs> That's kind of the story of case versus and his up smashes. Keeps just putting his glasses on, like, yeah, I got that up. Why are you putting your glasses on, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to be it for uh, that one, and we have the next match coming up. Like I mentioned earlier, right, Case Swiss will have to fight the next player, which is going to be Yoshi Freak. He, Case Swiss is the player who sent Yoshi Freak into losers. So he's got some on one side. So, yeah, so Yoshi Freak could be looking for the